Right on the play. Oh no, okay. Turn off audio yields and now I've got to go. Mulligan, both Cascading Cataracts. Uh, this is a turn three Tron, I suppose. Gonna put back the second mine. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. You just came to stream. It's Dono Deck Thursday. Anything can happen. We've got a stipulation. Door to nothingness. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of have the self-imposed self stipulation, but I was asked by Chunky Monkey to play Door to Nothingness, and we are doing it here. We can we can get a blast zone uh, with the Sylvan Scrying, hopefully. Apostle's Blessing to shock me. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, uh, we definitely have, you know, we have other cards that could win the game, but I'm putting a self-imposed stipulation only in the game with a door to nothingness. Oh. Forest is not the best draw we could have had. So I'm going to make green mana, and if we, you know, brick, we can still get the blast in. All right. Yeah, yeah. This is only an, this has always been strictly an entertainment stream, anyways. Hopefully, they have a, some thought seizes. And no, and no scourge of the sky claims. But if they had scourge, they would have cast scourge last turn. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, door to nothingness, or our opponent conceding, of course. They're sacking the dart. Could be dead. Maybe not. It's a lot of damage, but I think we go to two. Alright. Then we can minus ten in two turns, hopefully. The cl very classy upkeep bolt. Very classy. O stone's probably pretty important. I feel like we could have made this Omnath deck instead. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. It's definitely a different direction. I don't know, door is ten mana to activate. It's a lot it's a lot. Dice Factory would have been a better door deck. I, I kind of disagree. I kind of think Dice Factory sucks. Excellent question. Excellent question. <laughs> Why play the Ugin there? That is a good point. Are we even trying to build the best version? I, I really do think Dice Factory is terrible. I think that it's just like... I don't know. Very inconsistent at getting a ton of mana together. Yeah, maybe it is better at, with the stipulation. There's the door. I'm going to go to five, though. Have I considered boarding out door and just relying on finding a warm coil and waiting for them to concede? Well, I, I think that's very much not in the spirit of the stipulation of only win with door. But I'll, I'll think about it. I can keep this. Yeah, I, I think we can all agree we're not planning on winning a ton of games here. But we're planning on having a great time. Never mind, we're going to win all the games. <laughs> Tron. Never mind, that's great. They should probably take the star, but I feel like they might take the stirrings instead. Yeah. 
Like, if they take the star, we can't, like, cast the stirrings next turn. And they're down to three cards in their hand. They hit us down to 13. I guess I'm going to tap the tower here. Oh, whoops. Thank goodness I can undo that. Hopefully this is just a scourge. Okay, this is fine. I guess that was their draw for the turn, right? Hopefully they don't have thoughts to use. That would be obviously the worst. Um, am I supposed to plus on the Monastery of Swiss Spear? Or am I supposed to play around Lava Dart by Minusing. Is Lava Dart even that bad for us? It's not that bad. Seems kind of close. I think I think it's just safer to Minus. Also plays around Apostle's Blessing. Not that they're like super likely to have a Blessing in still. Kind of an, an interesting decision for sure. I, I think that we're enough ahead that we can afford to take the conservative play. Uh, ooh, yeah, Blessing may be protection from artifacts, not colorless. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a point towards Blessing. That probably makes it better to plus. Okay, we won again. Very exciting. Maybe we don't want Weather the Storm. Nah, we won't Weather the Storm. GG's, Natty. GG's. If you were far enough ahead, wouldn't that allow you to take the liberal play? I mean, I usually like, you know, I usually think being aggressive is, you know, is uh, better when you are behind then then i think it's usually good to play defensively and conservatively when you're ahead uh, and maintain your advantage than it is to and but when you're behind you need to take more risks is kind of what i'm getting at yeah if you're behind you take risks if you're ahead you don't need to so they're gonna bolt me probably and play a turn two scourge i think i want to map first Yeah, I got I got new I got new earbuds um, Monday or Tuesday this week, because the other ones are really uncomfortable and I they're bothering me, so I got these. All right, so hoping to dodge cleansing wildfire, of course. This warm coil is just going to be great against them. Don't think it's very likely we die here. Like even bolt plus TBR doesn't do it. I think. You asked them in chat not to concede next time. We were no clear close. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like it's a bit douchey to say, hey, don't concede. I'm going to kill you with like my really contrived win condition, you know? My opponent just has like the right to concede when they want to. Oh, you're joking. I see. Something's going on with this freaking update. This update is so frustrating. Yeah, now now we can't we can't just get scrying for worm coil. Not that we definitely would survive. So frustrating. Oh, maybe maybe that one was on me. I don't know. But I feel like it didn't let me click. Yeah, opponent knows that there's bugs going on. Just like the whole client is so broken right now. Please, yeah, I really hope my opponent kills me here. It's just so frustrating because we we could just, yeah, now we could just cast Worm Coil if they don't have Wildfire here. Although Worm Coil, I don't think beats Scourge.
Earn a mulligan. Keep this. Put back the scrying. Putting back scrying is pretty bad against turn one discard spell, but we're, we're Tron, so we'll just draw it anyways. I'm starting to sound like an MT, uh, actual MTG player. What do I usually sound like? It was better before the update. It was better before the update because the game the game was functional, yeah. <laughs> the game was functional and I wasn't encountering bugs all day. I would say it's uh, not a super high take, hot take. Yeah, it's, it's also weird because it seems like different people are getting different bugs, you know? Yeah, I told you. I told you we didn't need to keep the scrying. They want me, they want me to move to arena. I know pe people say that all the time. It doesn't make any sense to me. But it's, it's starting to make sense. If you really... If you connect the pieces of the puzzle... If you really... If you really connect all the pieces of the puzzle, you can see that they are playing 4D chess with us and they want us to play Arena. They hate Magic Online, even though when they, if they really wanted us to move to Arena, they could just turn off Magic Online, you know? But really, they just want to make a shitty product and, and then that's going to make people play Arena. They're going to say, they have a shitty product, I'm going to play a different one of their products. Yeah, I just, I just never, under, I've never understood. <laughs> that uh that idea so we can carn for bridge which is not enough can't crack o stone really wish i had a radiant fountain in my deck right now to get with golos Can we get a Trinisphere? I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna play and crack my star first. And then play Golos. Is this Ori combo? It's uh we're, it's door to nothingness, Trellon. Just trying to trying to door to nothingness people. Yeah, let me go ahead and I'm gonna get Amulet of Safekeeping. And the next turn we can O stone, but this is gonna like probably buy us some time, and then we we obviously don't have to pop the O stone if they um um if they you know put us in a situation where we don't have to pop it. Card for Orion. Your next turn, you can Orient to Golos. Uh, I mean, we can do that next turn anyways. No coding. I don't. Th coding is just real bad here because they just attack Karn. And then they get to use the mana. This I think I think uh, amulet of safekeeping is pretty good to stop them from um, you know discard spells cost one more, burn spells targeting me cost one more. Although it's it we're likely just to kill it with the O stone, of course. Thought it was good. I thought this was good to just buy us a turn. Gonna wait to crack the O Stone because they do play Monasteries with Spear in some versions, so and the uh, brush fire elemental, just haste creatures in general. Put Luris into the hand? They do put Luris into the hand. We can go those for one of our cascading cataracts if we want to this turn. I think I'm just gonna get a tower. Get blast zone actually. No, I'm just gonna get a tower and then uh, I'll just like take this hit from shadow, and make it to where they can't play another creature this turn. the The door to nothingness combo is really mana hungry. You need more than just Tron. Yeah, they have Peatland Tron. We've got Urza Tron. They probably, they could have maybe cast, I guess they can't cast spells pre-combat into the uh, stone. Yeah.
Yo, Cascading Cataracts plus Golos is pretty powerful by itself, too. Let's see what we find. Worm Coil. Worm Coil Urza's Tower. Okay, so Worm Coil wins us the game, but, you know, we're on the door to nothingness stip stipulation, so... Let's, you know, be true to that. We, we, Worm Coil is fine in the deck to stabilize, but it's not fine to win us the game. It's not what we're trying to do with it. They get back Death Shadow. This is seven, effectively eight. I'm just trying to see if we can go Golos first. So yeah, we can, we can. But exactly enough. Whites, blue, black, red, green. There we go. There we go. I guess we we're supposed to do this before playing the land, whatever. Although we need another uh, Cascade and Cataracts, of course. I'm not going to ask my opponent to like... Yeah, I think it is a little rude to say, hey, can you wait for me to only activate door targeting you? But maybe they'll, maybe they'll put the pieces together. But I do think it's a little rude and you're going to waste their time for me to say, hey, I'm, I'm only going to kill you with door to nothingness. Can you wait 10 minutes for me to get it? Yeah, I know I know they watch the stream, but I honestly feel like that's even worse because it kind of makes it feel like they have some kind of obligation to me, which they don't. So I'm going to bring in these veils. Um, don't know what I'm cutting. The whole deck is kind of perfect. Let's can maybe cut an Ori, a Golos. Yeah, that's the power of door to nothing is it gets concessions. We can't mulligan, right? We just can't mulligan this hand. I know this isn't a good keep, but it just has the combo. <laughs> if we could draw Urza's Tower, I can, I can draw an Urza's Tower. It also has a Blast Zone. You couldn't have activated... Yeah, no, yeah, you, you need to get... Or I'm, I'm playing two Cascading Cataracts. Um, I'm playing two Cascading Cataracts. Can you ask them not to take anything? You actually can't. You cannot choose to take nothing with Thoughtseize. I should probably take the Ori. Maybe those stirrings. All right, game over. <laughs> game over, man. Yeah, sometimes you thought sees, you know, graveyard combo decks and they you wish you could have taken nothing. Then it bolts me so they can play a scourge, I guess. They bolt themselves so they can play a shadow, which is pretty good for us cuz we have blast zone, but they're on shadow not scourge. They do know about the blast zone, and so like we do have kind of an interesting. Oh, this is fine. Maybe this isn't fine. We got to get a forest that time. Yeah, I'm gonna just try to not open my blast zone up to another wildfire because we we basically know they have a shadow for sure in their hand. With 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 Adelphia. All right, I'll play around Swift Spear, um, but I, I'm not gonna let the Shadow hit me because they that could let them cast a Scourge if they draw. It's also possible, uh, and Snaring Bridge is gonna be really tough for them to beat. 
Although I, I also kind of want to get a uh, graveyard hate spell if they go Luris with Karn. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, if they get Luris here, oh, they didn't get it. They didn't get anything. Okay, well let me go Karn. I think I'm gonna get Tormod's crypts. And then next turn we could get Golos, which can uh, get us Tron. They could have Kolgon's Command. Kolgon's Command's not even that good though, right now. It's okay. They're saving the Kolgon's Command for Door to Nothingness. Uh, why would they ever use Kolgon's Command there? They know about the Door to Nothingness. They have to. They have to save it for that. I think. So we can still go this next turn um, to find a, to find a Tron piece, but feels less good now. <laughs> I imagine they take the stirrings. What else could we get? Want to get the Ori at some point. Yeah, I think we'll just get a Golos. We have Cascade. We're, we're, we're actually, we actually could just activate Golos uh, if we play two more lands. So we have a mine and a tower in the graveyard. I guess we're going to get a mine here. Yeah, hopefully they try to get me off of Golos and we, they target this with Wildfire. Yeah, Trinisphere could be good. Um, we can Karn for it. We can, we can Karn for Trinisphere next turn if we play the other Karn. Deal two damage to me and kill Golos. Okay. So that might mean that they have a Scourge in their hand. All right, let's cycle a star before we decide what we're doing. Maybe just play door to nothing this year. All right. Yeah, <laughs> hurts a bit. <laughs> But the stipulation, got to stick to the stipulation. Was I ever a Tron player? I, I have played Tron in the past, like, mostly to just kind of understand it. Um, but I've never, like, been a, a Tron guy. Yeah, the stipulation is only win with door, which is not something the, donor, the donator asked me to do, but something I, I want to do. Can we find a tower off of this? We do not. We do find a chromatic ori though. I'm gonna play worm coil. How did the pox brew grow? Not very well. I've seen some Mardu shells like it, which is kind of what I based it off of. And I thought that cling to dust replaces smiting helix well. Um, but I just never drew a vampire and a sword at the same time, which I didn't like very much. Can you win by attacking with door? I that I'm not sure if that's in the spirit of the stipulation. So I'll just give a non-committal answer <laughs> for now. I mean, I think it's still good to play Worm Coil to stabilize with it, right? <laughs> that seems better than the step. Maybe it does. Is the game over? I don't think it is. It's close though, right? No, it is game over. Awesome. It's exactly 10. No, it's we have 11, whoops. That was a good tough deck. Hell yeah, we did it. We did it. We activated Door to Nothingness. Very exciting. Keep this, I think. It's a weird hand. It's fine. But yeah, but like land destruction, I feel like mostly you just play, you know, play the spells on curve and 
not a lot of decisions and I, I usually just enjoy decks with decisions and i i also don't enjoy making my opponent not have fun that's not really that's not really something uh that appeals to me and void pointer is paying it back gifted us up to lockhart hell yeah this is the worst matchup <laughs> No, 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 not like this. They have Angel's Grace in their deck. They have Angel's Grace in their deck. They ha What are we supposed to do? <laughs> we could only win with Dwarf. I mean, we could maybe lock them out of the game. Like, Karn is pretty good against them. There's a Karn. Oh, obviously I shouldn't have tapped the tower. Although, we still get to play the Karn. I'm getting Trinisphere. Part, no, I'll probably just get... Uh... Did I forget to put a Liquid Metal Coating in the sideboard? I did. Oh my gosh. That's what they meant when they said no coding. I just forgot to put it in the sideboard. All right, we're getting Trinisphere. Don't need it. I door nothingness to get. No, we don't need... Needle doesn't stop Lotus Bloom, and Karn the Great Crater already starts Lotus Bloom. Needle, but Needle doesn't stop mana abilities. I don't think Needle naming Lightning Storm is good, because they just have Thassa's Oracle in their deck. Which they can't win with here, right? Yeah. Oh, this adds five out of it? I thought it added four. Cool. So let's reveal the door to nothingness. Which wins over the course of two turns. I guess they can attack my, they can actually attack my Karn down. Hmm. No, they would need the spoils and Angel's Grace to win next turn. Yeah, no, yeah you, you're right. We shouldn't have let Karn die here. This was, this was bad. We're supposed to plus this turn. Although the Trinisphere is still going to really tax him here. Dude, if we get Angel's Grace, it's going to be so obnoxious. Angel's Grace does cost three, though. But door, yeah, for those of you who don't know, door to nothingness is, you know, needed to be balanced and enters tapped for some reason. Doesn't Adnaz play Leyline? We have lots of answers to Leyline. Leyline's not a problem. Yeah, we need Amulet of Vigor. Oh my, is my opponent really thinking about pacting this? I think they are. Yeah, they just lose if they packed. I think we're lagging. No, I I have performed a routine lag check and maybe I'll restart. I don't know. Actually, I forgot how I forgot that the client is just so broken today. Yeah, I mean they can pack and then upkeep grace, I guess. Yeah. But like Angel's Grace also stops the door to nothingness. So. The attack all button is back, but there are other bugs. Yeah, they, they can pack. They can just pay three. My right, opponent's back. They said sorry about that, so I guess it was on their end. They can cast pack. They just sack Lotus Boom for three mana. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's not that it's a good play, but, you know, like what else would they be thinking about here? 
Why didn't we win? Door to nothing is interest tapped. It would not be a Twitch stream without saying something. Have someone say, why didn't you do this? Then you say it again. And then someone else asks you again. <laughs> then you say it again. It would not be a Twitch stream. Can I please define tempo for chat? Yes, tempo is uh, when chat has a suggestion for a line. Why did I play MTGO today instead of chess? Good question. I did have these, you know, dono decks to, to do. Tempo is your pet deck. That's what tempo is. All right, so if they pay three for this bloom, they shouldn't be able to win this turn, right? Angel's Grace costs three. Have I considered TOD add oh, to add the 25th land to Jessica? I see. No, that's a great idea. Love it. All right, let's just get the screenshot. I mean, we, we need to make them use uh, a, a Lotus Bloom anyways. Let's just get the screenshot. I do spike. I do think your favorite card should be unbanned. What? <laughs> no fear. No fear. <laughs> they never had Angel's Grace. Not even a little bit that they ever have Angel's Grace. All right, I think I'm going to cut the track tusk. Threctusk seems so bad. Threctusk is literally does nothing because I'm not attacking with it. We're bringing a veil. Yeah, worm coils are real bad too because I'm just literally not attacking with them. We've got a stipulation only win with door to nothingness, and I'm sticking to it. I think they're good. To, I, I think Ugin can like, you know, Ugin can ultimate and Ugin can kill their Frexin on life, so it can stay in the deck. Um, so let's bring in the fourth Ori. Maybe just bring in the. Oh, I thought I had a fourth Golos to wish for. Guess I don't. Fourth O Stone. This is round three. We're one and zero right now against Adnaz. Yeah, we've currently won. Yeah, we've we've won some games due to concession, but we've activated Door to Nothingness twice. Needle isn't very good and if if it's if we want a needle lightning storm we can still wish for it but needle doesn't stop like their mana abilities i'm gonna keep this let's put back at least the cataracts i guess i'll put back the veil too maybe not yeah put back the veil car is our best card in the matchup so i'm glad we have it yeah, I mean, no, our opponent did build their deck around the, the door to nothingness. They're playing four Angel's Grace, which hard counters our combo. <laughs> Needle doesn't actually do anything. It's Null Rod. Oh my gosh. That's, that's a good comment. We've had, some, we've had a lot of good shit posts in chat lately. And it's suspended a bloom, so hopefully we can play Karn on turn three. Green. This doesn't really matter. Stirrings or tower. Okay. Well, this bloom has two counters, so it's possible turn four Karn would be good enough. Although, I got a feeling they're gonna thought seize the Karn. Interesting. Okay, Ugin can deal with Unlife. Next turn. Let's crack it now, play around. 
shadow of doubt or something. They they have perfect info, so it's not like we get to conceal anything. All right, do they have the combo? I mean, just ad nauseum is the combo here, of course. We do get to see how they sideboarded. If they if they ad nauseum or if they spoils. They brought in spell pier two th three spell piers? One Pact of Negation, one Echoing Truth. All right. Natural Tron, okay. Keep, I guess. W what are we naming with Pithing Needle? Please tell me what we name with Pithing Needle. It's just Lightning Storm and that's not even very good because they just have Vass's Oracle. I can only repeat myself so many times. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so you can you can name Pithy Needle, but if you name Pithy Needle, they just kill you with Thassa's Oracle. It's not very difficult for them to do that. And like, o, o Stone kills their artifact mana. O Stone kills their Phyrexian on life. I think O Stone is fine. Like, obviously neither are good. I guess we actually play Forest here because we can't, we can't play anything on turn three anyways. Um... They're, they have Thoughtseize in their deck. Yeah, the, the, there should be a coding in the sideboard, and it's a mis just a mistake that there's not. Could play a stone right now. It's probably fine. It's good against the counter spell. So we can of course just O stone the prism if we're afraid of them killing us with ad nauseum angel's grace in their upkeep. Oh, I might just be dead here. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just need to fire off the stone right now. I think it's just way too greedy to wait until they draw step with their upkeep. Just dead through an ad nauseum. We we could of course die, but you know th then playing out the Pinta Prism makes or the the Phyrexian on life makes me think they don't have an Angel's Grace in their hand maybe. But if they have Angel's Grace ad nauseum, it's not like we could beat that anyways. If only this O Stone was a pithing needle. <laughs> So there's, I think they're going to value Adnaz. Yeah. So maybe I was supposed to do this in their upkeep. Yeah, maybe it was. They reveal Angel's Grace Adnaz. Stinks because I have this stupid stipulation. <laughs> I'm just not, not going to kill them with you again. I, I refuse. Play you gonna make him concede. I feel like that's not in the spirit of the step. Yeah, the stipulation is have to win with door. Yeah, we have to bolt ourselves to reach the ult with Ugin. Or just add to yeah, we're just dead to We know they have uh, Angel's Grace. Oh, I guess we. Oh, we actually didn't. They didn't show us the Thassa's Oracle, but I think we can assume. Yeah, but I thought I thought they I thought they had showed us Thassa's Oracle, but they didn't actually. That was an extra bad matchup with the stipulation for sure. Oh yeah, they can they can name Oracle with spoils, of course. Good point. But it's not like a door to nothingness deck is going to be good without the stipulation. It's not like I'm really putting a big wrench in my uh, deck's game plan. Do they have enough mana for Grace, Spoils, Oracle? 
Spoils? I thought they did. Uh, I think we go to four. We go to three. I think the, I think there are good bubble threes in Tron, of course. We're keeping a uh, forest mine scrying. Nah, let's just keep let's just keep the yeah 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 easy. Do you think there is a version of Titan Shift that is competitive these days? I think the Titan Shift decks are just not as good as the like the the Reclaimer Titan or the uh, Anglo Titan. I'm not. I'm just not sure like what the reason is to play Titan Shift instead. Like what strings it has. Let me use the restroom real quick while my opponent thinks about force negationing my star. I think. Oof. I mean, we are going to win this game very easily, I think. So there is that. So we're going to draw... I'm not sure if we're going to draw tower or power plant here. I can't actually... Yeah, it was, it was power plant. I wasn't sure. I knew we were going to draw one of them. I just couldn't quite see. And so next turn we draw tower. In before they play Arbiter in the Ghost Quarter. Won't be fast enough. Won't be fast enough. What's funny is if they didn't have Inquisition, th this this is our Molda 3. Like, we just have tr we just have Tron plus Karn, so. Like, <laughs> if, if they, you know, we, we could still do it, but, like, if they didn't have Inquisition, like, this is just a crazy Molda 3. <laughs> Okay, Bitter Blossom. Sure thing. Pretty unlucky. Spike, what do you think of Bitter Blossom? I think it's great. I think you should always play it. Bitter Blossom is really good. You get some it's a it's a it's a two mana one one lose a life with suspend one. It's pretty good. Tower, 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 tower. Bummer. Someone was playing one Bitter Blossom and their busted random. I mean, if, I'm, I'm assuming it was one Bitter Blossom if it was Vintage Cube. Uh, I think Bitter Blossom is fine in Vintage Cube. I, I'm, I'm really just, of course, you know, having a laugh here. It's not that bad. Yeah, if we just we have an we have an O stone we can get with Karn, so as soon as you know, assuming we can find that in the this this turn, we still have a chance. I think we probably don't have a chance if it's one more turn. Ah, hers is mine. I'll keep playing, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, I do like Bitter Blossom with Smokestack. I think it's fine in some control decks. My opponent, my how could my opponent have a simple Tron while I'm still struggling? Oh, Amulet of Safekeeping is in her deck. Holy crap! That's just gonna kill them. Oh, come on. Ban. No! No! <laughs> no! 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 Oh. Or dead. I'm actually going to trim a, uh, a Golo so I can Karn for it. They had, they had uh, Shambling Vent. They had Shambling Vent. We were dead. The Snaring Bridge should probably be in if we're all in on Bridge. We can Karn for it. They had 11 without Vents. Yeah, I, 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 yeah that, that sounds right too. I think we keep this. I know it's turn 4, Tron. 
But that's, you know, turn four O stone on the play. It seems fine. You're making a joke regardless. I see. So hard to, so hard to, uh, interpret chat sometimes. Especially when I've been very clear that there are no jokes allowed. They only have 10 with vent from my count. If someone wants to pull up the clip, let's, let's keep talking about this. Let's not move on. Pull up the clip. Yeah, I know, I know they had nine tokens and a sword and a shambling vent, but since apparently since this is such a high, you know, such a point of contention, they have eight. Oh, they do have 10. <laughs> ah, I'm so, I was so confident. <laughs> I was so confident and I was wrong. Ah. All right, you guys make some good points, I guess. I'm so confident. Do they know about this mine? What? They, oh my gosh, no way. They targeted the cascading cataracts. <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> that was awesome. That's a pretty easy mistake to make, I think. Like, who knows that Cascading Cataracts is indestructible. I still can't believe I was so cocky. I was so confident. I was like, look, guys. <laughs> look. <laughs> they had lethal. They had, they had a shambling vent. And Shaz, like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they only had 10, you're at 11. No guys, they had a shambling then. <laughs> oh boy. Opponent's Moldafor. Uh, but also, to, to go back though, if they shambling vent us and put us down to one, then uh, we we do just lose to. Like no no we have no outs because Uga and O Stone don't kill Shambling Vent so we still we still have no outs in that spot but. I was wrong I was wrong, yeah yeah Corn into Bridge yeah actually you are right that wasn't out never mind wrong wrong again wrong again. Right on time Ashiok right on time. No we have, we have a bridge in the board I I forgot about it. Do we Ori into Karn? What are we getting if we just Karn? Probably door to nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we do this since this means even if our opponent does get us off of Tron, we still have Ori in play. We can also get uh, one of these back from Exile now. Needle for Ghost Quarter or Field of Ruin. I mean, the problem is we have to we have to guess. We have to guess. Uh, in fact, I, I probably would just name Fulminator Mage because we saw that one. Uh, Asha, uh, you don't search your sideboard, I don't think, do you? Yeah, it says you re you may reveal an artifact from outside the game. Uh, there's not a Crucible in the board, no. Yeah, there should be. I'm, I'm just going to get a uh, Door to Nothingness. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, and Ashok does say search your library. That's a good point. Door without casting less than thought sees. Yeah, that I I know, but I mean, we can still, uh, you know, we get to Karn for something in that case. Probably Golos. I guess Golos is bad against uh, Ashok, but I think I think that's fine to like get thought sees. And I think you know, 
Well, it's not very likely Karn dying. I think we just, uh, if they have Skyclave Apparition, it's better to do this. No Volk Take Key for the 17 mana insta kill. <laughs> uh, probably should have been. Yeah, yeah. If, if they, also, if they exile the door to nothingness with Ash Shock, we get it back from exile. But, like, that, you know, does play. That is, like, them making a mistake if they do that. Ash Shock continues to be a great sideboard card. Sand's close. I'm going to mulligan. Sand's not close. I'm going to mulligan. Sand's not close. Sand's great. Let's keep these four cards. Mulligan aggressively with your Tron decks, kids. Is this real life or a dono? Uh, both. Both is real life, and we're also doing a dono. I play around main deck tails end, of course. Is this the real life? Is this a dono? I'm just gonna jam. Yeah, we were able to fix the turn one thing. It's gonna be hard to win with the door to nothingness, I think. But I got a stipulation, I'm sticking to it. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna counter my Golos on the way down, but I'm not attacking with it. Why bounce it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, chroma Chromatic Ori is, is our out here, I guess. Oh, yeah, we, we also have O-Stone. Yeah, we, we got outs. In fact, I'd even say we're ahead. I wouldn't be right when I say that, but I'll say it. We're ahead right now. Streets ahead. Everything is fine. I'll draw a land, I'll probably Worm Coil. And I will attack with Worm Coil, but I won't try to kill my opponent. Uh, but gaining the life, I think, is like just correct. Could also kill Car or kill Jace. Try to kill Jace. Am I planning on testing streaming the new Band Stone Blade list? Um, I, one, those lists aren't very new. I, I've actually even top aided a PTQ like, with a deck very similar around the time Stoneforge Mystic got unbanned. Um, I have played those decks in the past and I don't think they're like different enough for me to like really think that I, I need to play it to understand it right now. And, um, you know, for the most part, if, if I don't feel like I need to play a deck to understand it, I mostly just like to, you know, play my own decks on stream. They just bounce this with Jace. You may, you bring up some good points. You bring up some good points. All right, I guess we were supposed to go those, huh? Okay, okay. Game two. Okay, um... Got two Worm Coils, I think. No, I, I think we just want to leave these. A Trinosphere is, one, not that good against Blue Moon, but it's also just better as a Karn target, right? The moles to six. Is there ever a situation to board and card wish targets? Usually it's better. Usually when you do that, it's because you have cards that are just so dead in a matchup that you just kind of need anything instead. Um, that That's usually my experience, although there are some other uh, situations.
But like like trying to mull for like your one of Tormod's Crypt or Graft Digger's Cage is also just not very consistent. So this is oh I was supposed to play Karn. What am I doing? Ah, damn it! It's fine. Playground force of negation here. You just pass. Put it up to one lander. Yeah, see, now, now we've played around uh, Force of Negation well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm a real Tron player now, guys. Yeah, winning with Veil wasn't part of my plan. I keep this if one of these power plants was a, a different Tron piece. This hand's interesting. It, it has O Stone against uh, the Blue Moon deck. Also has Veil. We're in the draw. It's kind of loose. I'm going to keep. Oh, they're a Jeskai Blood Moon deck? What the heck? Hey, I guess there's not a blue-red cycling duel, but I mean, that doesn't make this good, right? Yeah, it could be a white splash for sideboard cards. That's a good point. Why do we play the land first? Uh, I guess I was thinking that there may be... Like, they would be less likely to counter the Ancient Stirrings if I play the land. So, like, they th they can see that I'm not just going to hit a land off of this. But now that I'm saying this out loud, I'm not even sure that that tracks. It's Harry MTG's Blue Moon for Sea Purge and two Timeways. That's interesting. Would love that cryptic here. Just can't cast it. Would not love Jace, I think. Alright, so I'm gonna get Forest and then I'll cast the Scrying too. Don't Tails end me. They'll probably counter this if they have a counter spell, of course. But I don't think we're supposed to play around it. You don't want the other Tron piece? Now, now with the Sylvan Scrying in my hand. This is fine. It feels like they want to save in Tails End for Stone. Was, yeah, was Harry playing Tails End? <laughs> I'm going to look. <laughs> I don't usually like to look for the list, but... I, I'm just trying to door to nothingness my opponent, man. Yeah, I don't I don't think Harry's been on Tails End. We're probably not supposed to play around it anyways. Yeah, Harry wasn't playing Tails End, like a, and was playing this Vanillion click. Yeah. This looks like Harry's list. Okay, so we have eleven mana. So I think I'm gonna go for a chromatic star crack first. We'd love to draw the second veil. Uh but then I'm gonna go for Golos plus Karn. Can still do that if we crack this one. Yeah. I realized that the best way for him to get viewers is to copy me. Imagine he's on Tails End. I looked and he's not. But whatever helps Harry, you know. 
pretty free to cast. I think I'm just gonna get a third tower, beat greedy. Their their land hate seems to be Blood Moon anyways, right? Um, I think I'd like. I think I'd like to Karn first, because that way they can't go like, spin mana on a counter spell for 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 this and then force mitigation my Karn. Oh, three wildfire as well. Wildfire and Blood Moon is a non bow. I would I would not play Blood Moon and Wildfire together, although we may get got here. Yeah, Wild Wildfire plus Moon is not uh two cards I would ever register together, I think. Then a sanctuary targeting ops. You just don't hate Tron enough. I mean i I would play one or the other. <laughs> like Blood Moon plus Ceremonious Rejection seems better. Oh, that's one too many. I guess what I have, opponent. Guess what I have. No, they don't believe me. Maybe they do. You're valuing killing off the basics they fetch that low. With Wildfire, they'll just get another basic off of it. I, va I value it really lowly, yeah. You have to cast like four Wildfires to get them off of basics. They have a sinkhole. All right. Modern decks only have three or four basics. Yeah, and they'll get them with the wildfire. You know, like the like the wildfire. The it, wildfire won't be good until you cast the third or the fourth one, and that's not good. Is this, is this just because I have weather the storm in my sideboard? Oh, they got they found a cleansing wildfire. Oh no. How much mana do we have? Only seven. So we'll still cast this Chromatic Ori. Why did I turn to the dark side? I haven't. I'm still the hero as I am playing Door to Nothingness in my sideboard. And I have a stipulation to only win with Door to Nothingness. Wish I had an R set. Yeah, Sundering Titan is pretty good. And maybe we're supposed to Sundering Titan over Ugin because they could have Force of Negation. Yeah, I think naming Narset's good. I also forgot to put a, a Liquid Metal Coating in my sideboard, so you guys can make fun of me for that. But my Karn was dying anyways, so it doesn't matter. Although I have another Karn in my hand. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I think it's just I think it is going to be better to Ugin, and hope they don't have a force. Yeah. Unfortunate. Um. So now, do I want to O Stone or or do I want to Karn? I'm just gonna Karn. I don't have a crucible in my sideboard. I had to cut some stuff with like the door to nothingness. Maybe I get ballista. I don't think we're supposed to get the door yet. Just like a creature is so good because it doesn't get countered. I'm playing one, two doors in the main and one in the side to get. And I also have a stipulation that I can only win with door to nothingness. You like Titan better? Maybe we could do both. I'm, probably not. Unless we draw the mine. If we draw a mine, we get to go off. We can also plus Karn on the Chromatic Ori and attack the Jace for seven. So we could play Ballista for three off of our lands, and then if they counter it, just animate the Ori, attack Jace. Have I, I think we've won three games with door two of them we actually got to activate it and one of them they just scooped austin has redeemed a deck tech they put a remand on top am i crazy let's see bant choke you got a lot of islands in your choke deck i know that you were trying to mitigate it as much but you still feel like have a lot of islands here 
one, two, three, four islands. Five's too many. Yeah, the choke I think is just nonsense. I also have not really liked, um, ooh, the nut draw. So they're ha they have exactly remand up here, of course, right? So I guess we can, we can do a trick I learned from Mateus 34, just play the Ballista on one, then activate it to play around remand. I also don't like Uro very much with Stoneforge Mystic. I think Uro usually shines when you have just like just cheap interaction around it, and so does Stoneforge. And just like playing the two together, I haven't really liked. Yeah. I also think you have just too many islands to play Choke. I'm losing like a single breeding pool. I mean, even if that's the case, it just like isn't that good, I think. Especially in the mirrors, like, you know, you're maybe you're maybe losing a breeding pool and they're maybe losing like two or three lands, you know? So now, five, six, yeah. So let's play a three, three Ballista now. And if they counter this, we can play the door. Right, playing the door anyways. They could, they could have Force of Negation as their last card, which is okay, I guess. I know this means we don't get to kill the Narset, which is relevant, but I um, thought this was good. You, you don't have to fetch islands against control. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's better than I think it is. Maybe it's better than I think it is. Ah, we win. Awesome. We 3-2'd with door to nothingness. That's so exciting, dude. <laughs> Opponent doesn't really, doesn't understand the combo, but we're about to teach him. We're about to teach him. <sighs> is Chromatic Ori plus door to nothingness a Splinter Twin? Why, yes, it is. Although it is pretty annoying to resolve. They, they just let you enjoy it for longer. Teach them, not him. I Did I say him? I usually say them.